EDC 27 Friday Night Overtime. Sponsored by these businesses. It is Friday night and do we have a show for you guys. 17 games, playoff games, region title games, plus the best of the nest. More with them a little bit later. Great night of football tonight, Dom. Absolutely, and for Brookwood, this is the biggest night of their football team in close to 15 years. 2007, that is the last time the Warriors won a region title. A win tonight over Southland would give them another. Brookwood head coach Shane Boggs and his guys ready for their shot at history tonight. Picking things up here in the second quarter. Dallas Forsythe dropping back to pass, lobs it up to Nathan Yoke comes down with it in the end zone. Warriors go up 15 to 6. Then how about a little defense? Southland on third and short. Ethan Myers explodes into the backfield for the loss and forces the punt. Ensuing possession with time running out here in the first half. Forsyth dropping a dime to strong Beverly who reels it in. He reels it in Ooh. strong. Gives Brooklyn a chance at some late points. Dallas dimes over there and they do just that. They capitalize. Ethan Myers coming back into the highlight reel, barreling his way in for six. And the Warriors take a 23-6 halftime lead. That'd be good enough for a region title. It's all there. 30 to 6, the final. <laughs> In 4A, the Cairo Syrup Makers could clinch in the Region 1 with a win tonight over Westover. Top of the third for the Patriots. Kishé Walton gives the ball to Reginald Williams, who runs for a few yards good for a first down. Next play for the Patriots, Cameron Bergeron gets it this time. He takes off and caps off for a nice touchdown run. Patriots take the lead. Syrup Makers try to respond to the next drive. Kevin Speed, you got to know he's going to be fast with a name like that. Hands it off to Tay Solomon. He runs in through the defense. Few yards. Second place goes to the Makers. 23-14 the final. Good night so far for the local teams. Thomas County Central hosting Doherty tonight at the Jackets Nest. Cool moment pregame here. Recognizing the legend himself, Ed Pilcher. The field now officially called Ed Pilcher Field at the Jackets Nest. Yellow Jackets came out playing some inspired football. Dondell Green taking the handoff, muscles his way through to, for six. That opens up the scoring. Then on the ensuing kickoff, the ball fielded cleanly, but on the return, a swarm of Yellow Jackets on the tackle. Fumble. The ball popping free. TCC recovers it, so with good field position, and they finish the job. Screen pass goes to Kai Brown, and the senior taking care of the rest. Breaking free, finds the ends of six points. TCC in control early in this one, and they stay in control. 42-33, to getting the big win for Coach Pilcher. Bainbridge already the 4A Region 1 champ looking to seal the season off with a win over Monroe. First quarter, Quade Hawken hands it to Rashad Broadneck. Burst into the end zone for a touchdown. Look at a little, little shifty, there little make goes. a miss. Ooh, see ya, see ya. Yeah. He gets in there, Bearcats take the lead. Now a couple of drives later, Broadnick, he's going to be handed off the ball again. And number four himself gets his second touchdown of the game. Bainbridge wins big 43-14. Loving it. The Florida High Seminoles, last year's 3A state runner-up. They had to go through Pensacola Catholic to get to that point last year. They got to go through them again this year if they want to get back to that title game. Seminoles up 7-0 here in the first quarter after a bad snap on a punt. Great field possession. And they make it count. Trey Donaldson to Jahaz Morgan. It's 14-0 Knowles after the PAT. Seminoles slicing up this Catholic defense tonight. Dante Williams tacking on six more. Florida High would jump out to a 21 0 lead, but the Crusaders not out. They come clawing back. 21 7 now. Demarius McGee dialing his own number. It's 21 13. Florida High tacks on a field goal just before the half. 24 13 that score. Catholic would fight back in the second, but Florida High is moving on. They win 34. To 27. Now Viter and then over in class 2A region semifinals North Florida Christian hosting NFEI out of Jacksonville Eagles versus the Eagles the Eagles of NFC getting on the board early with a tough run to sneak in for the touchdown next up DeAndre McCray comes off the jet sweep to the open field for the big game there making a couple moves in the Get open out field of the way. then here we go is this Tom Brady on the play is it? no wrong number 12 here but a great pass from Braden Phillips 
throwing a beauty to Traylon Ray for the score. Put the Eagles up 14-0. No issues for NFC tonight. They win 42-0. NFC gets the winner of University Christian and St. John Paul II. Three minutes left in the half. Quarterback Tassario Riles for University Christian. Holding on to the rock here, running 10 yards to the end zone. It's 21-7 night. With the ball once again, Riles doing work. Running past defenders to the end zone, 27-7 night. And you see they cruise in this one. It was close early. UC beating St. John Paul II 41-7. So that is who NFC will face next week. In Class 5A, the Rickards Raiders had a big win last week over Ed White. Back in Tallahassee tonight, hosting West Florida in the quarterfinals. Rickards up 6-0 early. West Florida's offense trying to get rolling. Good pickup from Jahan Simmons, but the Raider defense all over it tonight. Rashad Mack, like a Mack truck, out and get it there. And then later, <laughs> the Raider offense, they're eventually going to pick off off of that momentum, and they get back to work. Michael Townsend on that keeper. Touchdown, PAT, no good at 12 0. Raiders cruise tonight, 38 to 16, your final. Rickards could face rival Godby next week. They get the winner of the Cougars matchup with Rebolt. Not good for Godby here. Lonnie Williams escapes the sack, but when he goes to throw, he is intercepted by Sean Evans from Rebolt, and the Trojans would score soon after. Santana Jackson to Vincent Bailey for the Rebolt TD. This one settled, and not one OT, not two. Triple overtime. Godby wow. unfortunately falling 42-34 the final. Rebolt will face Rickards next week. Hey, cheerleaders, take us to break. You're watching Friday Night Overtime on NBC 27. As promised, the best of the nest from Thomas County Central High School. They are our band of the week. <laughs> good tunes, good football, win or go home time in Florida. In 7A, the Lincoln Trojans on the road, Atlantic Coast AC letting Lincoln drive early. But it's a huge stand from Desmond Evans at Atlantic Coast to break up oh, the touchdown, forces a field goal. Trojans up 3-0 early. Atlantic Coast responds on the next drive. Ridge Jacobs bobbing and weaving through traffic. A, hey, a heave to Pat Bryant. The Illinois commit comes down with it. Atlantic Coast will go on to win this one 17-9. The Childs Timberwolves, they were at home tonight in Class 7A, hosting Fleming Island here. The Golden Eagles get started with running back Ty Kosak taking the snap, scrambling circles, back throwing it to his target for the amazing play there. Unfortunately, it's not for Childs. Kosak again showing his versatility, catching it out of the backfield, running through this Timberwolf defense. Childs, tough loss, their season inside at the hands of Fleming Island, 23-7. The final score. Checking in on another Leon County school, it's Leon on the road at Niceville. 50 seconds into this one, Niceville showing why they're ranked number three in the state. Trey Wainwright to Kendall Mosley, 44 yards to the house, 7 0. Niceville's next possession, Micah Turner follows Kimo McEnold, 12 yard touchdown run, 14 0. Leon season sadly also comes to an end tonight, 42 0, the final score. Not good for our 7A squads. Not Florida's at all. smallest classification, 1A Rural Sneeds traveling 20 miles down the road to Bluntstown for the regional semifinals. Hot start, Sneeds making moves early, running back Calvin Stringer going the defense. Bluntstown defenders just can't catch him. That's six for the Pirates. Two teams trading possessions. First quarter winds down. Bluntstown on the board here. Logan Pumphrey airing it out to Jerry and Mosley for the touchdown. They missed the extra point. It's 6-6 six, six apiece. Sneeds wins 21-18. Get this, Dom. It's their first win over Bluntstown in program history. Ooh, Gotta so love it. So much history being made tonight. I love it. Now, Sneeds faces either Taylor County or Bozeman. Bulldogs make the trip to Bozeman tonight. Second quarter, Kivas Thomas to Javon Harris. He shrugs off that defender and it's off to the races. Throws the juke at the end there. 61 yards to the house. Bulldogs up 7 0. That's the score at halftime. Bulldogs roll on to win this one 35 14. Taylor County, they've stamped their ticket to the next round. And they will play Sneeds. And single A Region 1 in South Georgia, Seminole County, hanging on to that 
fourth spot in the region. They have to beat Terrell County tonight to seal up that final playoff spot. Pressure's on. Terrell at Seminole. Jamarcus Allen, the pass to Devontae James. He takes it all the way to the end zone. It's 12 to 6. Terrell up. Again, Allen with the throw to Jaleel Green here. First down for the squad. Seminole County does lose tonight, 20 to 7. Terrell takes that fourth spot in the region to advance in the postseason. Single A Region 2, the toughest region in Single A. Clinch County looking to close out the regular season with a win over Lanier. Bulldogs coming out swinging. Rashad Brockington throws a beauty to oh, Keith nice Wright pass. for the touchdown. Panthers, they turn things around pretty quickly. QB calls his own number, takes this one up the middle, and see ya, Oliva Derchi, and so long. You ain't catching that. Clinch County, big winners tonight, 41 to 21. Big win. The Valleywood Valiants closing out their slate at Tift area tonight, down 20. 12 to 3. Pate Hogan, the quick look to Harrison Hamsley here, slipping the tackle. You can't stop him because he's going to slip that tackle and then that tackle, and then nobody's going to catch him. Taken down. He's the most elusive man in high school line. football. They score soon after. Hogan keeping it himself. He strolls in. It's a 12 to 10 ball game. Tipped area would take back the ensuing kickoff, though, to move up 18 to 12 over Valwood, and it doesn't get any better for the Valiants tonight. Tough loss, 49 to 28, the final score. Tipped area comes out on top. So history making tonight, Dom. We had Sneeds get their first program win over Bluntstown. And congrats to Brookwood. Region champions, first time since 2007. And what was the number one song in the country then? No, it was uh, Irreplaceable by, by Beyonce. Beyonce. To the left. They the finally right. took that box to the left, <laughs> unboxed it tonight. But it was awesome being at Brookwood tonight. Super happy for the Warriors. They well earned it. That whole program there really brewing up something great. So congratulations exactly. to Brookwood. Big one over your rival last week over Valwood and then taking home that region title tonight. Big game tomorrow, 12 noon, FSU hosting Clemson. You can watch it right here on ABC 27. So uh, just keep it locked to the channel. Don't go anywhere. Exactly. Good Tom night, everybody. We'll have all the highlights tomorrow night. <laughs>